So there's that. Uh, we still need one more orb, though. And I feel like we've covered, like, quite a bit of the area so far, so... I just gotta find where that blue orb is. Just to make this go a little faster. We we oh shoot. Can I fall in those holes? No, I'm good. It looks like you can, but like if you run like straight through you should be fine. Like pretty much any normal Mario game where that's a feature. Okay, so while I'm up here, let me actually look in 3D. I didn't actually do that earlier. Okay, this is Sector 5, so there is more to this area. Okay, well, since there seems to be, like, some substance under here... Okay, yeah, there's a pipe down here. But I don't think this is, like, where I'm, like, supposed to go. I think this is just something unique. Yeah, we just have coins and, uh, probably other stuff. Let me flip to 3D. Or I can just climb up with Luigi. That's probably the... That's probably the gimmick here. Yep. So here we have the... Skello Bomber card. Which are the flying skeleton guys. And here we have the... Skello Bit card. Which are the just normal foot soldiers. So hooray for that. Uh, that's all there is. Uh, maybe the, uh, other guy is not in Sector 5. Maybe he's... back in here through another path. Okay, guys, um, I actually kind of got lost here. And, um, the thing is, there's actually something I didn't do in my original, uh, run through this room. This is where you find the pipe that will lead you to the, uh, cooking disc that we got. Uh, apparently there's more to this room that I didn't investigate, and because of that, uh, I got incredibly lost. So, I'm just gonna cut out all of that in-between stuff and then just meet you guys here. Because I was literally just wandering through every single room, using Peach to, like, float around the room to try to find stuff. But yeah, here's the last guy right here. And I think if you come here early, like, before, um, before you talk to Wibby, um, you actually can't get the blue orb, so you have to come back here. Oh, thank thee. It is though thou hast brought me back to life. Hold on a moment. What am I doing hither? Who am I? Where am I? Do I have amnesia? Ah, what to do? Oh, so do I have to leave? Oh, okay, no. Hold on a minute. I remember. I am, I am Blueby. Finally, thou snappest out of it, eh, Dumby? We, ha we has hasten to yonder shrine to help Granby, so give us thy blue orb. What? Oh, indeed, I see. If thou beest have attacked from the underwear. And Granby is in danger? If thou speaketh true, then here, takest it. So there we go. I cannot linger hither. I must go see what is happening. Farewell, Luffy. So yeah, if uh, you come here later, just talk to him twice. Otherwise, like, he won't remember who he is until you talk to Wibby, so... Once again, this game forces backtracking, which I don't like. Really, really don't like, but... What can you do? What can you do at all? Not much, really. So, with that out of the way, we can finally actually uh, put an end to this chapter. Thou wanteth to ride? Yeah. I should stop reading stuff I've already read before. <laughs> it's already annoying using that speak as it is. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I looked at the um, recording time, and we're already over two hours. Normally it takes like just under two hours to do a whole chapter. And keep in mind, we already did like part one, like the first part of the chapter already, so... This really is a long chapter, like the entire chapter by itself. Some parts will probably take more than one video. Oh, 
Oh, thou hast them? Then let us hasten and rebuild the bridge. Climbest onto the pedestal hither and placest the three orbs. Do it now. Or dosed it now, whatever. Freaking tired of this speak. So glad it's gonna be over in just a minute. Do 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Seemed like it was gonna be Tetris like for a minute, but nope. We have a colorful little rainbow. Granby is in danger grave, but we are all so weak. We must ask you, savest him for us. Yeah. Bowser's ready to do it. Uh so before I do this, I believe there is Maybe it's not in this room. Maybe it's in the next room. I mean, they'll give us a save block, I'm pretty sure. I think that's kind of, uh, goes without saying. Oh. Then I just stuck myself behind here. Good job, Slim. Good job. They have to give us a save block beforehand. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Hold it! How'd you guys get in here? I thought we destroyed the bridge. Shuttest thy trap, foul one, speaketh. Doth my father farewell? If thou hast hurt a whisker on his face, I shall end all that is you. What? You little brat? Hey, you guys, fall in! Oh, God. So you want to see how scary we can be, little girly? Well, take a good look. Oh, dear. There seems to be a lot of them. I didn't know there were there's so many left. Calm thy mind! I shall handle them. You? At long last, my strength returned to me. And now these fiends shall reap the grim harvest of my nimby fury. The hour is nigh, nimby brigade. Thou, art thou ready? Yeah! Oh boy, here we go. Hast thou fear from these fiends from the underwear? Nay. Ooh, all tough because you got an army, huh? Let's see how you do against mine. You're going down. Thou art toast. And now, Nimby Brigade, ahem. charge! No mercy. So this is like kind of like the uh, those fights in Chapter 2 of Thousand Year Door a little bit. I mean, obviously not. Like, we have no control over this. And they're just gonna fight while we uh, do our own thing, but... I always thought this was kind of a cool section. The NIMBYs trying to fight off everyone. It's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, before we go up the staircase, there is a treasure chest here. This will give us the spiky skeleton bit card. So yeah, they give us a lot of uh, the skeletons in this chapter, which makes sense. They are the uh, common enemy. Oh hell! Oh wow! Okay, I leveled up right at the end. That's pretty cool. That's like opportune timing at its finest. So we have full health and we're ready to fight. Awesome. Oh no! Father, father, art thou all right? Luvbi, thou should not have come. Flee from here. Brohaha! A touching scene, to be sure. Ew. <laughs> hey, you're the boss of all the crazy guys who escaped the underwear, are you? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, I assure you. My name is Bone Chill. 
I am something of an evil celebrity in certain circles of the underwear. That may be, but my father shall never give you the pure heart, so give us up. Oh, you dear ignorant child. You really don't know a thing, do you? How charming. What, what does thou mean? I speak of the pure heart, and I speak of you, Luvby. It is you! What? Sayest thou? The pure heart was hidden ingeniously to keep it away from evil sorts like me. Granby changed the pure heart into a nimby that he called his own daughter. Haha, <laughs> that is just silly. My mother and father... Oh, Priceless, you really think of Granby pays an ounce of attention to you out of love? Th that's... no, thou liest. Father, sayeth something. Move be... ugh. Bruhaha. The old fool can weigh the sins of others, but not his own. It cannot be. Luvby, we can talk later. Right now, just take Granby to safety. Quickly! Uh, okay. Many thanks for delivering the pure heart. Once I deal with you, none can stop me. I shall be invincible! Please, as your game ends, remember it is an honor to have the ended by my talons. So, there's a couple ways he can do this. Uh, he will shoot these, uh, he'll make, he'll make those things appear, which he can use, uh, Thoro to, uh, use against them. But, he can also just do that. And it does a lot of damage. Like, hardcore damage. And I believe he only has, uh... Yeah, he only has 80 HP, so he's actually not that hard. <laughs> Brog! How, how impossible! How could you puny worms destroy a master of the cold dark? I love how the boss was like the thing that took the least amount of time in this chapter. <laughs> Thou hast done a fine job, though hast saved our realm. Father, the words of that thing were all lies, yeah? Thou and mother are my parents? Well, Luvby. Luvby. Mother! I had not received word of your safe arrival, so I came looking. Are you well? Speakest to me now, mother. Father and thee, art thou verily my parents? Wait a minute, why do you... What?! Prithee, mother, speakest the truth to me. Luvby, you... You are not really our child. So it is true. The pure heart was always in danger of falling into the hands of evil, darling. So Grams and I decided to transform it into a shape that no one would suspect. And that was me. What? What was that? The pure heart doth struggle against the Luvby identity. It seeketh its true form. It doth sense someone nearby worthy of possessing it. It must be these fair folk. So, uh, aha. Thou sayest I am meant to be with him? He verily is my prince? This doth stink! He is completely wrong for me. I speak seriously to you. This hath no humor in it. Fine, I shall return to my pure heart form, and I shall go with Mario and his friends. Thou art certain? If thou turneth back into the pure heart, the NIMBY known as Luvby will cease to exist. Nay, perhaps I already have. I remember being the pure heart now, in truth. And the world would end if I did not do it. Is this not so? So I should just... Wait, why do I explain myself to thee? Thou art not my real father, so quiet. What? To think of all the times thou hast scolded me. Thou didst know I was not long for this world. Why didst thou not let me have fun? Nay, instead I suffered an angry fake father and a nagging fake mother. I had no life. 
How dost thou plan to make that up to me? Luthby. Sayest thou what you wilt to me, but taketh not to thy mother that way. Perhaps thy sash shall end once thou changeth forms. What dost thou wait for? Oh, giveth me a break. I must do it whether thou wish or not. It shall be a relief. Thou art an ungrateful brat. Thou'st thou not recall when I lingered by thy ill bedside? I scoff at thy lingering. Why dost thou not giveth back the present I bought with my saved allowance? What madness thou spew from thy lips? Who gaveth thee that allowance? And thou didst lie to get the money too? Thou didst pretend to buy the school books? How dost thou dare to lecture on lying, and why dost thou think I lied? I thought that mother in thee, I thought thou wouldst be happy. The pair of thee, that out thou art not real parents, I, I, I hate thee. <clears throat> that is enough, Luthby. It is true that we created you as a means of protecting the pure hearts, but Grams and I came to love you as a true daughter. We wanted to be with you for all the time to protect you. You became a part of us. Perhaps we were wrong to create you, and if we only cause pain, we apologize. Oh, mother, thou needest not apologize. My dear mother, thank thee. The pure heart doth wish to assume its original form. Luthby. Tippy, taketh good care of the real me. And savest the world, yeah? Such is my final wish. So if thou dost not do it, thou art most unkind. I understand. Father, mother, fare thee well. Luve B. Oh, my darling. I am sorry for lying earlier, because in truth I, I love thee both. Luffy. Now, ye prophesied ones, destined heroes, taketh our dear daughter, taketh the pure heart. Okay, Granby. And sweareth this to me, thou must prevail. Let no one else in the universe feel this sadness. Okie dokie. Very well, then I am satisfied. Now, Luffy, thou must go. Oh, Grams. That was actually a lot sadder than I remember it. Like, I've al I always remembered that Luffy was the pure heart, but, like, that actually was kind of touching, honestly, and sad. Maybe not Walking Dead sad when I got sad during that Let's Play, but still. Also, you got a pure heart. End of chapter. Hooray. Finally. My god. Heroes, my daughter wanted thee to save all worlds. Twas her final wish. Granby spoke slowly through his tears as the brave Nimbys cleaned up the over there. Draped in sadness, Queen Jadies walked slowly to her palace in the underwear. Mario, his friends, and the eighth pure heart were all that remained. This pure heart had come at a high price. Let us hope it was all worthwhile. Ugh. Honestly, the one thing I'm happy about is I don't have to freaking talk in that, like, weird language anymore. What? spat Count Black in utter disbelief. Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? Ahaha, ah, oh I'm afraid so, my Count. In fact, they will be here before long. Well, is that true then? What are we doing twiddling our biscuits here? Count Black, let me go throw them in a nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. Oh, I want to party with those party poopers too. Wait up, oh chunks Me, 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 me. Well, I'm not one to miss a party. Oh, but wait one moment, dear Count. Does the name Bloomier ring a bell? Where did you hear that name, Dementio? Oh, the mustache man's pixel went on and on. She said, I must stop Bloomier. 
But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind to the ramblings of a pixel. Ciao for now, my count. Count Black, if, um, if that pixel is who you think it is, there's still time. You can still stop the prophecy from destroying everything. Yeah, because if that's really her, if she's alive, you have to stop all this. You know not what you are saying, Nastasia. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count Black. No one can stop it. Yeah, um, I'm on board with what you're saying, but there must be a way. There must. Lord Bloomier? <laughs> the man known as Bloomier died long ago. Now there's only Black, the dark prognosticus's choice to fulfill the prophecy. Nothing more. But... Come to Count Black, heroes. If you hope to save these worlds, then come. Black! Black! Okay, that, uh... I think confirms it, actually. Bloomier, my son, don't. Even your ancestors could not handle that dark book. If you open it, there's no telling what might happen. I do not care, father. A world without her is empty. A life without her is empty. Speak, Dark Prognosticus. Teach your dark history. I await your command. Bleh! <laughs> Bleck! Bloomere, what have you done? Silence. The first prophecy beckons. I will erase every inch of this blasted world. B Bloomere, don't do this! Bloomere! Bloomere is no more. I am Count Bleck, and no one shall stand in my way. Bleh! <laughs> Bleck! Okay, then. Well, Bloomier, that uh, story we keep hearing about, is Count Black. No, Bloomier, you mustn't. Darling, how could you? Oh, darling, you... Why? Hey, Tippy, snap out of it, will ya? What? I thought you'd just gone back into town, but then I saw you lying there, not moving. And then you started shouting loudly. I have to say, it kind of startled me. Um, I'm alright. I'm sorry for startling you. Bloomier, is that a person's name you were saying? Were you remembering something from your past, perhaps? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. So should we go to Merlon's? We ought to tell him that we found the last pure heart. 